If you've been paying attention to the footage of my recent videos, you'll notice that I've been playing Mesa a lot. What's going on everyone, and welcome to another Warframe video. Baus Phoenix here, and today I wanted to talk about one of the most OP Warframes in this game, Mesa. <laughs> Alright, so many of you have probably played Mesa to some extent, and since she was first released all the way back in Update 15, she's seen her share of changes. Some of these changes have been praised by the community, some not so much. For example, many of you know Mesa from her ultimate ability, Peacemaker. When used, Peacemaker pretty much kills anything that moves with terrifying efficiency. If you're new to this game, you may not know that way back when, this ability didn't even require you to aim. You literally toggled it, held down the fire button, and watched everything die. Well, as things go in Warframe, DE and a large group of players decided that maybe this needed to be tweaked a bit, and as such, we got Mesa's current Peacemaker mechanics wherein you actually have to move the cursor around a little bit. Now, I really liked Mesa when she was first released, and back then I was pretty new to the game and really only saw her like a lot of newer players do. I saw how powerful her number 4 ability was and really only used her as a DPS frame, but since then I've grown as a player and now see Mesa as a frame with insane utility and amazing solo player potential. As such, I implore you as players to look past the old ability to Mesa's number 2 skill, Shooting Gallery. In all honesty, this is probably one of the best crowd control skills in the game right now. Not only does it keep enemies from firing and melee units from attacking, but it also increases weapon damage as well. On top of that, it travels between teammates giving them these bonuses as well. This ability when paired with Shatter Shield, which is her number 3 skill, pretty much gives Mesa free reign to do as she pleases in any given mission. Add a Frost to your party and the two of you will pretty much be unstoppable. Because I know that a ton of you would be really disappointed if I didn't show it, here's the current build I'm using for my Mesa. Since her numerous changes, I kind of found that having positive stats in every category was pretty much the way to go. This cost me a few forma, but with the results I'm getting, it's totally worth it. Moving on now, let's answer the question in the title. Is Mesa the best solo frame in Warframe right now? For my playstyle, yes, I think she is, but here's the thing. The best anything in Warframe is sort of superlative. There are several really strong solo Warframes in this game right now, and the best one really depends on your perspective of the game. For example, my perspective isn't that of some of the Endurance runners in Warframe. In my opinion, Endurance runs don't really count as content. They're challenging, sure, but there isn't really any reason to do them anymore with how Void Fishers work and... Besides bragging rights, there are literally no benefits to fighting super high level enemies or staying for extended periods of time in endless missions. However, if you're taking Mesa into the sortie or any planetary mission, I can say from experience that you're going to be just fine. Just do yourself a favor and lose the endurance mentality. Just because a weapon can't kill a level 400 bombard doesn't mean it's terrible, and just because a frame can't survive sustained gorgon fire from a level 600 corrupted heavy gunner doesn't mean that it's worthless. Anyways guys, I suppose I got off on a tangent there, but I highly recommend taking another look at Mesa if you haven't played her in a while, and when you do pick her back up again, approach her with more of a support slash tank mentality in mind, and you'll be surprised of what you can accomplish. Add to that the fact that you have an oh shit button in the form of her number 4 skill and you have an extremely well-rounded solo or group frame capable of being useful in just about any scenario I can think of. But that's gonna do it for me today though guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this little discussion video and maybe you walked away from it with some valuable information. If you did, then don't forget to slam that like button, it helps out a ton and if you're new here, consider subscribing for more Warframe content. I put videos like this out daily with varying degrees of success, and I'd love to have you as part of the growing Baus Phoenix community. Until the next time though, I'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.